And we're back to Mass Effect 2, tracking down the Justicar on Ilium. No. Ran in dark. Uh, mm. on, on literally shiny crime, the planet. God, I hate this place. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem, or did she kill somebody already? <laughs> <coughs> what a reaction. Relax, I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara's the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asara's space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, they're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's, like, I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. It's closer to a religious group than a legal branch. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain. Yes, and they die before breaking their oaths. So I think a better representation would be what a Jedi is supposed to be, or a Paladin. Yeah. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear. And a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases. And everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. Why are you worried about other species coming into contact with her? If a Justicar kills an Asari, none of us questions it. But if she killed a human... Do you think the Alliance would understand her actions and respect her authority? You can't even figure out your own religions. It's a big <laughs> diplomatic incident just waiting to happen. She's not wrong, though. I'm looking for Samara. Yeah. Like I said, she's at the commercial spaceport. You can hail a cab at the pedestal on that balcony over there. All right, then. Thanks for your help. Good luck with the Justicar. Try not to piss her off. Sounds about... Right, before we do that, there's a couple small side things to take care of. Oh, my. More side things. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Yeah, I've got a friend in Eclipse. She told me what I needed to get. Good. I'm pretty good at bypassing firewalls. Maybe they're looking for techs. The store's over there. And don't get cute. The whole place is monitored. Okay, then. Skin weave, submachine gun, weapon damage, and armor that I wouldn't even use. Blue rose oh no, the almost blue. all of that seems really Let useful if we were to fight. Into the hot soil of Tachanka. Let our uh. scorching sun... Hey, you ever heard of Krogan Poet? Turn your supple beauty into strength. Uh. I have now. <laughs> it must grow thorns to pierce the hand of any... There's so much beauty in this world. <laughs> There's only so much beauty in this world, you know? What do you want? Sorry. Sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. Is that Krogan bothering you? No, no, you don't need to hurt him or anything. He's harmless. Which, I know, Krogan, so it's hard to believe. His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. <laughs> Why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent? Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. <laughs> uh, no offense. <laughs> the expression. I wonder if he really likes me, or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know, because of the genophage. <laughs> Side note, I'm usually wearing a full face helmet like the breather mask or something else, so I actually don't see Shepard's expression half the time. <laughs> That's actually It's actually a funny face. That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. 
Well, I don't think you realize that our kids would always have been a sorry. Not a sorry, don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA. We're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Charles quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. It doesn't seem common for Asari to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy, really smart, especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him, so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I, I guess I haven't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. <laughs> I'm Commander Shepard, and I occasionally matchmake. <laughs> <laughs> and, this, and this place is basically nothing. Ooh, we found it we had that one. But yeah. And now you can say... And now you can say you've seen it. I'm telling you, relax. Vax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Eclipse mercs, some just a car, I don't know. Oh, hey, we're going that way. We're going to see the extra merchandise. Which is why so we're much for not having been in combat yet, huh? Hmm. Uh, Sounds like it's already a bit late for that. Yeah. Yeah, now you can safely say you've uh, encountered not only a Krogan scientist, but a Krogan poet. Yeah. At least the science was still a wide bound scientist. Yeah. This, but one's, this one's literally just a poet. And I love it. Hmm. <laughs> Motorboat? Motorboat. Oh, everyone's at two skill points. Yeah. I'll upgrade my barrier. Because what could possibly go wrong with bringing a motherboard to meet someone who could potentially snap and shoot at you for saying the wrong word by accident? <laughs> Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off this world. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. Why would these mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you, too? I have no idea. We're innocent merchants. But they killed him. So smells like bullshit. Me too. Especially in this I the anger to get out of here. Why do you think it was mercenaries? Dakni Kerr was cutting through a back alley last night when someone killed him with a shotgun. I saw his body this morning. They'd used modded rounds. That means Eclipse Mercs. 
You must know something about these Eclipse. I occasionally do business with them, but only in well-lit places, with my guards, and only after the creds clear. This is a scummy bunch, even by Merc standards. They sell red sand, all kinds of illegal item, and they are all cold-blooded killers. You don't seem too broken up about your partner's death. Dacny Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now, my worry is me. Yeah. It's unhealthy to be a Volus in the Nosastra spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named Pitney Four. I should go. I, I can understand that. Yeah. It's difficult to be worrying about someone else's death when you're still, you know. When you still might be on the list. Yeah. Priorities. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Chestakars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. Self-correcting policy. Fortunate in our case, of course. If you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I can. Besides, she's been looking at crime scenes longer than our two lifespans combined. She knows how to handle herself. You're letting her into a sealed I'm a crime cop. scene? I'll... She knows how to handle herself. You're awfully I'm pretty sure they think this lifespan. My boss is Alone to with just me, she was like kind of dropping the bucket anyway. Yeah. Her just a car code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. Let's remember that next time Shepard sets us up against impossible odds. Twice a day, <laughs> on average. <laughs> Most of the time, I'm not being stupid about it. I can't say the same for Anaya's superiors. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local know. Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. What do I need to know about these mercenaries? Eclipse mercs are professional killers. <laughs> They sell red sand, trade illegal weapons tech, and smuggle criminals off-world. They control some back alleys around here. I haven't been able to find their nest yet, though. You mentioned a crime scene. A Volus merchant was murdered. It was a professional hit, so we're not dealing with junkies looking for a score. I'm thinking the local Eclipse mercenary band. Can't prove it. But if the Volus was dirty, too, maybe it's just a deal gone bad. What can you tell me about Justicars? They're a kind of... humans might call them warrior monks. They live by a complex code that compels them to punish the wicked and protect the pure. They've been a part of the Sari culture for millennia. I read adventure stories about Justicars when I was a child. What do you think of Samara herself? She's been a Justicar longer than three of your lifespans. Whoever she was before she swore that oath, that person is dead. People seem nervous about Samara's presence. Asari admire Justicars. We also know that they kill without mercy when they find corruption. And Justicars never leave Asari space. Why is she here? I doubt it's to investigate the murder of some corrupt Volas. And as we've established several times already, you don't have to look hard for corruption here. Yep. Cover your <laughs> eyes and sh cover your eyes and shoot. But this is a question. Then why is she yeah, here? Why is she here? <coughs> Good luck. Guess we, we can find out when we Samara ask her. Before the detective yeah. goes after her. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every Asari does, I guess. <laughs> yeah, they are like heroes for them. And I had told yeah. us to let you through. Watch yourself. There's Merc activity back here. We're waiting on backup. Iraya, let's consider this extra stock surplus. Put the rest in our normal Eclipse shipment and send it to Thax at the usual destination. He'll never miss a few lost pieces. 
in let's just send that along along the this way Probably in combat, huh? Better safe than sorry. Yeah, might as well. Too bad you still can't sprint them. It's like trolling them. Oh, oh, they're white enemies. I guess at least that's a good way to know when there are enemies nearby before you see them. And suddenly you can sprint. You know? Nah, nah, uh. You can sprint at any time. Warning, hostile force is not okay. ammunition. Well, the mech knows I'm here. Probably should have opened up with that, but oh well. Oh well, they're dead now. Yep. That's Cal Tally's little combat drone. Nice. She calls it Chiquita. <laughs> she calls it what? Chiquita. Huh. Or something like that. And she tells it to go for the optics. Chiquita. I uh, think that's Spanish for... I have uh, no idea. I mean, it's basically Little Girl. Or it's something either Chiquita like that. or Chatika. Well, someone's having a bad day. Mm -hmm. Those were my best troops. Found a Justicar. Tell me what I need to know, and I will come oh from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. You've chosen poorly. Cheek Dika. What was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. Huh. It's a D and D reference. Hmm. Of all things. A servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? I'm Commander Shepard, and I need your help with a critical mission, Samara. You honor me, but I am in the middle of an investigation. I'm going up against suicidal odds, and I need the best. That's you. I sense the truth in what you say, and it humbles me. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off worry. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. Uh, the human is lost here. Can one of you clarify? I was trying to convince her to leave with you, but just a car is in their code. The detective has been ordered to detain me. I can't force her to disobey an order. And after one day, Samara fights her way out of custody, killing anyone in her way. I am afraid so. There must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that and I will join you, and the code will be satisfied. Can you tell me more about Justicars? We are individuals who have forsworn family, children, and worldly possessions aside from some weapons and armor. We travel a sorry space righting wrongs as defined by the ancient code we have each memorized. Ilium may be dominated by Asari, but it isn't in Asari space. My quarry fled to this place. I am sworn to hunt her down, and I will follow anywhere she goes. It is rare for a Justicar to leave a sorry space, but I must follow my oath. If I suffer for it, I will accept that. This Justicar code seems quite strict. It may seem so to you, but this is my oath. The expedient path may be fast and simple. That does not make it the right path. 
A moment ago you refused to give up your investigation, but now you'll swear to follow me? If I stay, I will be compelled to kill many innocents to escape incarceration. Like me. I may be killed, and my quarry would be free to continue murdering. If I come with you and survive your mission, I can resume my investigation. To do that, I need the ship's name to track her to her next hiding place. It is a simple choice. Logical calculation. Slim odds, but possible. Better than impossible. Do you have any leads? Yeah. The Volus merchant Pitney 4 is tied to this. Eclipse marks are preparing to kill him. Hmm. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. Right, now to play a bunch of Asari lives. And possibly one trader lives. But... Time to save a lot of lives in general by ending a bunch of others. Yeah. So, our usual use. <laughs> Hello again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? Why are the mercs after you? I know nothing about any mercenaries, Earth Clan. I'm merely an innocent merchant trying to make his way in life. The Eclipse are out for your blood. I need your help to break into their base. Shouldn't we work together? Yes. You're right, Earth Clan. I'm desperate. I've got angry mercs after me, and now this Asari Justicar. Let's talk. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse, so they are perturbed and want to kill me. It sounds like you're a swindler, and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she <laughs> I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. <coughs> Smart. <laughs> Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. And they're all female, it seems. Yeah, they're all... All the Eclipse in this, in this area are, sorry. Ah... Uh, it is Cilium. It is mostly a Sari, so I guess that would make sense. Yep. Find a way into the Eclipse hideout. Wasea, their leader, must have a record of the ship name. Please don't start trouble about my prisoner. Trust me, I'd release her right now if I could. It's a great honor to have a Justicar here, but I could do without the honor of having her kill me. I'd like to avoid killing you, Detective. Unfortunately, the moment my code dictates I must, I will. There is only the code. She says this kind of thing like she's talking about what to eat for dinner. <laughs> You're not gonna lock her up? Any attempt to put me in a passive restraint system will be regarded as a hostile action, and I will be forced to attack. Yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, warrior monk. Yep. Fun bunch, huh? Does mean she's planning to literally just sit there cross legged and meditate for 24 hours? I mean, I wouldn't put it past her. No, me neither. I'm just impressed. Headed for combat. Oh, huh. So, the robots. It was curled up right there, and I'm just fucking blind, so. I mean, it didn't seem to be. That's right, Sam. So, what did you look at? Right huh? Yes, yes, I looked up there. <laughs> That's funny. 
it was even a specific uh, forum thread in a side asking specifically about the Ow! That's funny. So yeah, it might be in Google search very easy. Talk about a bad way to die. Oh. Yeah. There's Tally is a lot less squishy than she used to be. Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? That drone is... I mean, I think it's something. I'm not it sure is. what the drone actually does. Oh, it's faster. Yeah, uh, combat drone. It's got it's got a decent attack and it's fa fairly durable. Nice. Hello, new shotgun. I keep keep her using the Geth one. Now I'll take the scimitar. But yeah, apparently it's a reference to Chintitia Fastpaws, an animal companion from a, a reindeer, I want to say. Mm. No, I, I know deity huh. from the Forgotten Realms. Go figure. Oh, so it sounds like there's someone hiding in here. Yep. Apparently, the companion is also mentioned in Baldur's Gate 2. Hmm. Might have to play that at some point. Been a while since I played Baldur's Gate anything, besides the third one, which I should also get back to at some point. Wait, That's what she's... I didn't fire my weapon oh. once. I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. I'm not one of them. I'm new. I thought being Elnor the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. You think you really want this? What do they do here that you don't like, Elnor? I thought we'd be flying around the galaxy shooting up bad guys and stuff, right? But no. They just sell red sand and illegal weapons tech. They even smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off-world. What does Ardat Yakshi mean? It's an ancient Asari word for something that... I thought was just a superstition until now. It means demon of the night winds. I didn't think they were real, but the boss said this scary lady was one. What ship did they use for the smuggling? Wow, I have no idea. It was a few days ago, and like I said, I'm new. They didn't tell me anything. What do they do here that you don't like, Eldora? Uh, I've I already gone off like, over that. No, yep. They just sell red sand and... Get out of here, Eldora. If you so much as jaywalk, I will find you. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going. Thank you. What was jaywalking? Uh, crossing anywhere other than a crosswalk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, what's this? Looks at literally every street around this road where I'm living. <laughs> it looks literally yeah. everywhere in the world. I mean, yeah, but the streets here are in the kind of shape in which you make it. that Animal Companion is actually Chick Take a Fast Boss. Um, uh, that is specifically, specifically we call the drone Chick Take a Bass Boss. <laughs> That's funny. Yep. 
There you go, everyone. The origin of Tally's drone name. You never know the kind of shit I just randomly decide to look up because I get curious. Interesting method of taking cover there, Shepard. And the amount of stuff we learned is watching Symphony, right? That's a category all of its own. So, what's this thing mean? So, on the Google search. That's gonna be a whole day. Just Suddenly at 3 a.m. and miles, uh, miles into Google. Google, Wikipedia, and various other things. It's like, suddenly, where did I get this blackboard that I've drawn a conspiracy net on? <laughs> the wonders and dangers of an enemy who actually takes the its on. mythology seriously. <laughs> the fuck? I think her beauty decided to hit you anyway. Yeah, right. Like Yeah, I was in the red sand, apparently. Oh, it's too far out now. Sniper rifles. Close range weapons for when you've got the wrong gun. Yeah, something like that. I wouldn't exactly call this long range. Uh, fair enough. You use that's more of a. Uh, Kiyama? I keep forgetting the actual. I mean, that's more of a submachine gun range, strictly speaking, but I'm bad. Yeah. I'm not sure how much you could actually snipe, especially since most of the fights so far have been rather close quarters anyway, so it wouldn't really matter if you could. Yeah. Well, it's official. Little baby Elnora is finally a full-fledged Eclipse Merc. I earned my uniform last night when I killed that ridiculous Volus. A close exploding rounds. Blew the little bastard's suit wide open. <laughs> I can't wait to see some real action. Next time I go home, my friends are going to be so jealous. Elnora What's someone she expected, huh? Shouldn't have released her. Detective Anaya would be interested in this. Yeah, maybe you should have, probably should have taken that renegade interrupt, huh? Maybe. Oh, well. She sounds like she'd have made a great medic if she had just joined literally any other one. Aww, it's fully repaired. That's bullshit. Well, I'm pretty sure they still have the... Um, multi gel or whatever it was supposed to repair the... Mommy gel? Yeah, that. Even they still had it. Uh, can't really repair it in a couple seconds. Sure, because it didn't take us nearly as long to repair the Mako. The Mako was a bit smaller. Also, shit, 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 sh
Ooh. You sure that Nico could beat all of us? Fuck off. Nice if I wasn't down to my last magazine again. Shipping manifest. This looks like a shipping manifest. It shows the Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of red sand. Not what Samara seeks, but proof that the Volus is a criminal. I imagine Detective Anaya would be interested in this. We've got to keep moving. Indeed. things and they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am biotics made flesh. I don't know what drugs you're on, but stay back and I won't shoot you. You will regret your scandalous words. I am a great wind that will sweep all before me like a... a great wind. A great biotic wind. Yes. The Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. They may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. But I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Are you part of Pitney Four's trade group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. <coughs> he That's hasn't fun. reported your disappearance. Probably so his departure won't get delayed. Pitney picks money over friends. Unsurprising. Bah! I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first... The leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. Well? I shall toss Wasaya about like a rag doll. Shepard, he can barely talk, much less fight. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. Wasaya will tear you apart. Take a nap. You'll feel better. Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic rich blood will be the last thing. <laughs> but great wind. Biotic god. I'm I What was I saying? I'm tired. You may be right. <coughs> yes, I'm tired. Old map. Destroy the universe later. <laughs> Nicely done, Shepard. What a treat that one is. No, we really did. was just bump him. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, I guess it's not exactly difficult to knock them down. It's not exactly meant for them. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off-world. First a Justicar shows up, now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass! Well... Headed for food. Did you expect any... That to be an actual boss at some point, right? Yeah.
Yeah, well, she picked a bad place to stand. Yeah. Probably looking for the one we sent off on the AMO Demeter. Well, we know we know what ship to. That must be the ship Samara on. was looking for. Want to head back now or look around first? Yeah, let's go. Let's give her the name. Yeah. And keep moving. We still have someone else to be looking for around here, after all. Yep. Hey, look! It's the biotic god. I don't know what they put in me, but I thought I was... Well, you saw. Anyway, thank you, Shepard. We could talk to you and probably give you incriminating evidence against you. Or not. Oh, we're oh. giving you to the detective instead. Yes, because Paragon for Life. If you have something that'll encourage the Justicar yeah. to leave, show it to her. Uh, and target a damn Justicar. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. The Eclipse smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off-world. She's who you're really after, isn't she? You continue to impress. Yes, I was here, tracking the Ardat Yakshi. She is a dangerous criminal, and I will bring her to justice. After your mission is complete, of course. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service, so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. Oh, that's dramatic. Yeah. I see a Justicar swearing off like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. I can see that this is a very important act, Samara. Thank you. Truly, the life of a Justicar can get lonely. I admit I am looking forward to serving with a company of honorable heroes. Shall we return to your ship? I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. <coughs> I have proof that Eclipse killed the Bolus merchant. Let's see what you've got there. Interesting, but I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard, and any evidence he brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Thanks, Shepard. Yeah, that would do. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger, and a human at that. But you came through. It's a shame Miss Elnora escaped. But I'll get her. At least you put her on the run. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. I have proof that Pitney 4 smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Take this. I always take money. Yep. And that's all we have there. Recruited Samara for team. That's it! All these like two paragraph debriefs, and then we just got. Oh yeah, we got Samara. I guess even the Lucian doesn't have that much of a justicar, huh? Apparently not. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. 
from an organization such as yours. That is high praise indeed. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. Alright then. What does Kelly have to say about her? Or whoever she's going to speak about today. Well, she might speak about Danny. I guess we're, we're going to find out. Yeah. I had a wonderful chat with your friend Tally. She's not what I expected from her psych report. I like her. Tally's a good friend. We've been through a lot together. My female intuition says she wants to be more than just good friends. <laughs> well, I would hope so. I always felt there might have been some chemistry there. There is. It's in her body mm -hmm. language. How she turns to you when you enter the room. How she watches your every move. Horians are so fascinating to me. They also make me a little sad. Why do they make you sad? Their environment suits are so beautiful, but with their immune systems, they're trapped inside. I wonder what they look like under those helmets, or what their skin feels like under those suits. Is there yeah. anything I should know? I've been wondering you have unread that messages at your private terminal. Morden <coughs> would like to speak with you over in his tech lab. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Hmm. I'll be here so if you need finally wants to chat. Chatterbox wants to chat. Well, then let's see what Chatterbox has to say. Shepard, important news. No, you're busy. Have to deal with the collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. You remember our talk? My work on genophage modification? You stopped the Krogan adaptation to the genophage. Part of a team. Scientists, all different types. Blood pack mercenaries captured former team member. Malin, last seen on Tuchanka, might torture him, make an example. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. We'll go to Tuchanka and see if we can find your team member. Appreciate it. My assistant, my student, want to see him safe. Malin, last seen outside Erdnot territory. Scouts might have seen blood pack. Talk to them or clan chief. Well, we know someone in Erdnot, don't we? Yep. Or not Rex. Mm -hmm. Commander, you've received a new message. At yes, your yes, terminal. yes, we know. From Elizabeth Bainham. Shepard, heard what you did on Ilim. Wanted to thank you for helping out at Zoo's Hope one more time. We're surviving, if barely. Most of Exergeny left, but I stayed behind as an attache. Make sure that nothing was left at the Thorian. We don't need that problem again. Also, I'm really sorry I shot that I shot at you. I'm pretty sure I said that, but I just wanted to reiterate it. Good luck and thanks. Zeus hope it's alive again because of what you did. I'm pretty sure she was the mind control. No, no, she she was the scientist that was in the uh um oh, right. that? she just kinda shot immediately when Because apparently she confused us for a Varen somehow. I Don't mean, she was a bit, you know dense. I guess so. Either way, that's one Ilium markdown, another to go. Yay! So we'll. So next time, chasing down an elusive assassin. Oh my. Later. Bye.